And that's it. And the big thing about that is my comment was after that event and I saw what was given to me, I'm like, I'm not even training for this. But if you let me get my arm healed, if you like me this year, you'll love me next year. And the next year was it? I won the overall title, oh. national champion. <laughs> now, do you remember who you beat in that bitch? Do you remember who was in it? Um, I can't even go there. I don't even remember. <laughs> now, there was one guy who was really hot up my trails. Was, um, yeah. Santoriago or something of that oh, name. Oh, Franco. Franco Santoriago. And he won it. The USA's, I believe, the year after, a couple years later. He years was ago. one mad individual. And we haven't seen Franco since, man. I think I put his fire out. <laughs> yeah, I think so, too, man. One of the guys he's talking about, of course, Franco Santoriello from uh, New Jersey, who was also won the overall United States men's title, men's championship. And that's the guy Vince is talking about. He beat earlier, who, of course, Franco went on to win that title later on. And since he's got his pro card, he's pretty much unheard of. Now, Vince, right. your first pro show. Mm. Night of Champions. Night of Champions. Wow, Night what of the way to get the feet wet, man. Oh, my gosh. He wasn't going to do it. You wow. know, I'm in Berlin. A good friend of mine, a partner, he was a military police guy. I mean, Ron Emmons, a serious natural bodybuilder. Right. I, he just had a set of abs that was just crazy. I always right. wanted those abs. And he called me up and he said, man, you got to do the Night of Champions. I'm like, Night of the what? Yeah. Right. He said, I need about 10 weeks of dieting. And we got six weeks for the show. So I said, okay. I called Wayne D'Amelio, you know, and uh, the IFBB guy. And he said, yeah, come on over. I came over and... I won the night of champions. <laughs> Man, Vince, that's pretty tough. Cause you, do you remember anybody who was in that show? <laughs> it was a full bull show. Full bull. It was loaded yeah, with was everybody in there. In there. Were guys like Sean Ray in that at that time? Um, Sean was not in that year. He was um, But JJ everybody, JJ didn't quite make it yet. Okay. You know, we kind of cut oh, his game he still up. didn't make he it. Still in, he wasn't out the blocks oh, so yet. He passed JJ passed him up. before. A lot of them. Wow. But um, a lot of them, the normal guys that came back, the veteran pros that were in the, go in the show, um, I came back in and just cleaned house. And um, no, it was no, great. Vince, unlike, say, a fighter or somebody like that who, you know, a, a martial artist, a boxer, or anything else, bodybuilding's a little bit different in the fact there's not going to be any contact or anything when we're on stage. Right. Is there a show, though, that you would consider your toughest, man? You know how guys would say, man, when I, you know, fought De La Hoya, when I fought right, Shira exactly. Ray Leonard or whoever. I'll tell you what, exactly. That was in the Arnold Classic. Um, we were competitive. Myself, uh, Flex Wheeler. Flex is tough. Uh, Kevin Leverone. Kevin Paul good, Dillett. Nacel somebody. Wow. I mean, we had a monster lineup back in that year, 92, yes. 93. Yes. It was just so deep. Yes. And to watch these guys actually fight, when you talk about hitting a shot and with, it, with tremendous force, yeah. you know, I'm thinking, man, these guys are going at it. Mm -hmm. And I saw so a lot of these guys look kind of a little patsy. And right. I told Flex after that show, you changed my whole idea about training, bro. Because when I get on the show, it's about really giving it what you got. It Three year. shots and you win it, suck it up. Right. You right. got to get busy. Right. So. One of the things I think that Vince is noted for, of course, are the Olympians. I mean, man, he has multiple Masters Olympia wins, and they are phenomenal. I mean, you talk about guys over 40 years old going into something like the Olympia. You're talking about guys who can beat pretty much anybody in the world. Mm -hmm. And these guys, of course, can compete in the Opens as well. Now, exactly. Vince, tell me a little bit about your Olympians. Well, you know, it started off with the Open class, Mr. Olympia. Like I said, right after we did the Night of Champions, six months later, we did the Open, Mr. Olympia, in 1989 in Remini. You know, and I crashed the house. I came in third. You know, so 1990, oh, it wasn't a good year in 90, right. but 91, I came back and cracked third degree. Mm -hmm. You know, so those Olympias with the young guys. And that was the Open Olympia. That's the Open. And you how old then, man? Oh, man, 34, I guess. Wow, which is good. You're still in a good age. <laughs> Trying to hang with those young guys. Yeah. And, um, you know, so you move on. You know, by the time I got to 40, and in between time, I was able to master 19 uh, pro wins, you know, on that open circuit. Nobody's done that before. Wow, you know, that's I, real good, man. One of the major things in that is was... Is that still a current record? It's still a record. You know, I did the um, a complete eight-show victory run, perfect scores on a European tour. Nobody's ever touched that. So after turn 40, it was kind of like, you're not going to win these shows anymore with the Lever Rones popping up now and then Flex is coming on real strong. Real strong. So I man. decided to do the Masters, you know, make that out of my home game. And then you won years. how many titles? You I won five, five of them. Five, five straight man, Masters. Man, five straight. Man. I had a sixth one, but you know, that's, yeah, yeah, you know you how that like went. You like you got burned a little bit. And yeah. I, you know, I have to agree. Have you ever seen Vince's symmetry before and his, <laughs> his, just his whole presentation on the stage, man, very magnetic. Very charismatic personality as well in his posing, and you'd have to agree that Vince has to be one of the best bodybuilders of all time, man, Appreciate ever that. in the world. Now, Vince, you took a little hiatus, man. You're back now. That's it. Vince you know, is coming back to serve him up. Back. You know, we got back in this game two years ago, you know, and uh, had a hell of a run. Uh, came back out the blocks, you know, top three with the young guys again after I finished with the Masters. You know, I'm back in the major guys and top three in Australia, top 11th in the Olympia again, you know, a year before last. 
top three in the Australia last wow, year man. again, what you know, record. top 10 in the Arnold. That's phenomenal. Um, phenomenal. You know, now I'm on a slow coast now. Slow coast. Slow coast. Man, we're out there and any promoters are out there, I got to tell you something. I was with Vince a couple weeks ago <laughs> in Alaska, and I'm going to tell you right here one more time, you better get him on board. Get him on board, <laughs> man. Get him guest posing in your show because he is going to come out and put a show together for you. He's going to do a good job. I'll tell you what, Vince, right now we're going to get ready to go back to showtime, y'all. I'm really glad to have Vince right here in Spokane, Washington with us at the Empire Classic. Ivan Ribbick and Paul Hughes production, y'all. See you in the showtime. We'll see you in a few minutes. Peace.